Potatoes are just like diamonds. I'm so embarrassed that you you had to uh, had to see that. I I like potatoes a lot. Just just look at it. Look. Oh. No. No. I. I see. Potatoes. It's so precious and tasty. And I could just eat it, but I don't want to because you know. I just saw that. Okay. I'll get over that, but potato. Don't go away. Potatoes have so many uses. You can do. And, and, see, there are so many. I mean, you can make fries. It's all bad I know of. Um, you can um, throw them at people, you know. But So I'm going to tell you in this video, six unique ways you can use a potato. My goodness, if you didn't get that, just leave. But don't, don't leave. I love you. Um, this potato is great and nice looking. I'll be back to sh Welcome to potato tip number six. This will be the first potato tip about potatoes. Oh, so beautiful. And... I'm going to tell you how to get rid of white girls because you listen to them. Very annoying talking about fashion, Starbucks, shoes, makeup, clothes. It gets on your nerves so much. Let me tell you. She won't stop talking about Starbucks. And you can tell if she's had way too much. I think she's had like 20 today. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that's healthy at all. So, with your potato... You can get rid of them. Well, not like die. They won't die because that's illegal and against law and cruel and mean. You wouldn't want somebody to die. If you do, I have no comment. But you take your potato and you tap them three times on the shoulder. This test to see if they're a white girl. If they don't notice it, definitely a white girl. Then you want to hit them in the eye and this is the second test. Nothing happens. White girl, most definitely. And this is the final blow and step. Boom! Right in the forehead. And then go to sleep. And you can just walk away. And take your potato to the other things. I can't do it. But welcome to potato tip number five. And in this, I am going to tell you how you can get potato chips with your magic, magical potato, who obviously wants to fly away, which it makes no sense why this would want to get away from this pretty face, but obviously it does. So here's what you want to do. Turns on lights, apparently. Well, I didn't know that, but that's a bonus, I guess, with my potato. So, you want to tap the ground three times and chuck it really hard. And then potato chips, oh man, they fly out of nowhere. A perfectly good bag of potatoes. Wet, oh no. No. The potato is gone. I think I killed it. You gotta be kidding me. My potato is gone. That's why you have extras. So I bought another potato from some, some person on the street who I forgot who it was. But you get a bigger XL potato, more magic, but hopefully it works. Well, I'll be back enjoying my chips.
Hi, welcome to potato tip number four. And in this, I will tell you how this potato can get you friends. Not just any friends, but real human friends. But they're not really real because it's a potato and it uses its sub... I don't know. The potato physics world is a whole different place, will I tell you. I studied potato physics. What the heck? That was weird. But... If you're ever having a bad day and no friends are around, they all just died one day, well, use potato friend mode after you visit their funeral because that would be awful of you if you didn't. Okay, potato, can you, can you give me a friend? Oh yeah, they, they have speakers. They're hardcore awesome. Oh, come on. Boom, come on. Close my eyes. Where's my friend? Hello. I am your potato friend. You're real. What? What's... What? Stop. Stop, you potato. What are you... Stop. Oh my goodness. I... I potato friend has some glitches. I presume. But, for real, I'm just going to get rid of it. Can you go away for me just, just for a long, long time? So I, like, in 20,000 years. Ugh, that's potato. It gave me a ball. You know what? Potato friend is actually pretty awesome. Except the human. But, you know what? I'm gonna play with this ball so much. Thank you, potato mode. And I will show you what else this potato can do. Hello guys, and welcome to potato tip number three. I think, but... Yeah! Potato tip number three. And my TV has stopped working. What a... Crappy TV, you must be. I've tried everything. I've tried shoving... What are these things? Right in the middle of it. Makes it worse. I've tried hitting the remote so hard at it. Doesn't work. But I am so dumb. Because I just remembered. Potato magic. Duh. And it told me, all you gotta do... Just like rub it all over the TV. I'm so dumb. I did not realize this. And then you gotta get some tape. And like tape the potato to the TV. Because the potato likes. Come on! Stupid potato! Potatoes can be pretty stupid. So, oh my goodness. I'm out of tape. Are you for shizzle? Ah, you know what? I've had a fine day, potato. Okay, that works. But now, watch this. Oh my goodness! Oh. Potato? Please tell me you're just joking. Okay. I'm done. This potato is dumb. Oh, wait. It told me I'm stupid. I was clicking the wrong button. I did it! <sighs> oh, what's this? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, my goodness, I'm on camera, aren't I? Really? Hi, and welcome to Potato Tip 2, I think. Oh, man, I'm getting all older by the second. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my potato told me 
I better build a book. You're right, Potato. I can build a book with a sheet, a blanket, a book narc. Yeah, a book narc. This is a book narc for all you unbook narkers, but that's a book narc. And a shelf and a word book. But you know what? I got you. Why can't we build a book? So my potato is telling me you better unravel your sheet. Put your algebraic book, I think, or jumbo circle, or fold it neatly. If you don't, it'll explode, and your house will burn down, and you'll die. And I don't think you want to die. Come on. So young. And then you place your book narc right on top. Take your drill. Ah! Oh, dang it, I forgot my shelf center. That's okay. But then I take my other blanket and my pencil, of course. Who wouldn't have a pencil and a book mark? Ah! Now my pens. Come on, you can drill a book thing. Ah, you're not a book. Ooh, potatoes. Get in there. All right, I think that made a book. Oh my goodness. Today, guys, we have made a book. A microbiology and pathology book, duh. All with the help of a potato. Make sure you stay tuned for the greatest, most epic potato trip. Tip, duh. I'm so dumb. I want Starbucks so, so bad. Why can't I just have... Oh, my goodness. I have a magical potato. Welcome to potato tip number one. The best and awesome. Sometimes the potatoes like to choke you. I don't know why. Potatoes are mean all the time. Every day. Every hour. All the time. Okay, great enough. But this potato chip is the yet and best of them all. I can turn this into Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. I'm telling you. So it's a very easy process. Take out your magical potato. Get ready to embrace the magicality. Starbucks. Mm. 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 Really, that is some real Starbucks. Um, it's not fake. If it's fake, would it do this? Oh my goodness, it's real. It's it's legit. Potatoes can clean it up. I don't think they can. Can they? What? Mm. Well, guys. I've learned potatoes are the worst cleaners ever. Make sure, guys, that you like this video if you like Starbucks or potatoes or you learned how to actually put a potato to use and not make fries all day. <sighs> because fries are annoying. I hope we use them. I don't get it. But if you really like this, subscribe. Like it and comment anything and I'll try to get back to you. And make sure if you like this and want a friend, go get a friend and teach them how you can use a potato to do anything. I'm Carter and I love you.